Hi guys, Oliver from the Dark Foot and Ankle Clinic here. With the season just around the corner, I just wanted to give you some insight, uh, maybe some recommendations on football boots before you head out and buy them. So football boots should be considered a vital piece of equipment for any footballer at any level. Um, they're crucial for optimal performance, uh, as well as looking to reduce the lower limb and foot overuse injuries. First and foremost, your footy boot should be specific, in particular to what you're trying to do in the shoe, uh, the width and shape of your foot, how well your ankle moves, as well as your body composition, so your height, weight, and even the position you play on the football field. So they should be a specific shape and size. Uh, one of the more common problems we have with football boots is that they're really low profile and don't really accommodate a wide foot. Uh, in terms of width options, the New Balance Vasaro has a quite a broad forefoot, as well as it comes in a two-way width, which is great for people that have really broad feet. Uh, in terms of other shoes, the ASICS Legacy uh, is quite deep and broad, as well as this one, the Testimonial, which has a fairly soft upper, which allows for good expansion. Uh, in terms of Nike, the Hyper Venom is probably the pick of the bunch in terms of depth and width. Uh, and there's a brand called Blades, which has a, an Adrenaline, which is slightly deeper and wider as well. So if you do have a broader foot, they're probably your best options to look for initially. If all else fails, there are lacing techniques you can use to create a bit more room in the front of the shoe. In terms of the other way, so narrow, um, there's a couple of options. Most footy boots are relatively low profile anyway, and by the time you put a thick sock on, um, you probably don't need a narrower fit. In terms of if you do need a narrower fit, uh, there's a couple that I'd probably recommend. I'd probably look at the ASICS Menace. It's fairly narrow in terms of its fit, as well as Adidas Ace. So your football boots should also be specific for your range of movement, particularly in your ankle joint. So most of you will be completing pre-season running and training in generally a runner. Uh, most traditional runners have what's called a heel height differential or a pitch, and it's generally anywhere between 8mm to 12mm in the forefoot height to the rear foot height. One of the brands in particular that has this built in is the ASICS range. They've got a 10mm heel height differential. Essentially what that does is um, creates a functional shortening of the Achilles in the calf unit and helps to facilitate ankle range of movement. Uh, if you do have another brand of football boot, we can facilitate it with a heel lift. Uh, this is particularly important for people that may have tight calves or an anterior ankle impingement. Otherwise, kids, or kids that are growing and are prone to uh, heel pain, in particular severs, uh, find great benefit from having that extra little bit of lift in the heel. So they should also be specific for your height, weight, and general position on the field. Uh, in particular, this is probably more um, for Ruckman or some of the bigger bodies in the team. Um, most football boots are actually soccer boots, so they're not actually made for traditional football or AFL football. Um, so pretty much they're low to the ground, low profile and lightweight. Um, essentially what that means is that bigger bodies are putting more force through the foot and they just don't have the cushioning or stability in them to cope with that. Um, in particular, ASICs have a great range either in the Ultimate or the Lethal um, that have cushioning right the way through and are built on a slightly wider last as well. Lastly, they should be specific for what you're trying to do in the shoe. So um, particularly for boys or, or girls as well that are playing multiple games of football as well as training sessions, um, there are different requirements for each of those. In particular, we'd probably recommend having a training or a pre-season boot. Um, this can be anything from one of the Ultimate or Lethal by ASICs. Otherwise, a trail runner is another great option because it has the cushioning um, of a normal runner that allows is reinforced with lugs um, for that extra bit of grip. So often pre-season or training can be conducting one of them. And then that makes your other boot a bit more of a traditional boot. It, it is able to be more lightweight. It's able to um, have a bit more of a low profile to it. And you don't expose yourself to the risk of those overuse injuries because you're varying your footwear. There's also a couple of shoes I wouldn't mind pointing out. Um, just in particular, if you've had previous injuries, just maybe ones to try and avoid. Um, so with any insertion of Achilles tendinopathies or even Achilles tendinopathies in general, um, probably the ASICS Tigrior is one that I'd be avoiding, purely because it's got a fairly stiff and hard um, posterior heel counter to it, um, potentially causing irritation um, to the back of the heel. And even some kids with severs or posterior heel pain as well might find it irritates a little bit. 
One of the other ones um, that is common is a Nike Tiempo. Uh, in particular, uh, is, we've had a few footballers come in with stress fractures um, and even just complaining of a little bit of first um, MTPJ joint irritation. So essentially the, su the stud sits in the wrong spot or a slightly um, you know, high pressured area spot. Uh, and that can lead to joint irritation. So either avoid them if you've got a specific foot type that has a plantar flex uh, big toe. Otherwise, come in and get it ground off so it doesn't have as much pressure underneath it. So yeah, just a couple of shoes to try and avoid if you've had specific injuries. So just overall, hopefully you've learned something, um, even if it's just one thing about footy boots. Um, just remember, just try and keep them specific, in particular to the shape of your foot, what you're doing in them, how well your, your joints move, um, and try and keep them varied. So if you are playing multiple games, um, just make sure you've got a couple of options, A, to cover you uh, in terms of overuse injuries, and even just keeping them dry throughout the season.